hello guys welcome back to control tips and in this video we're going to talk about how to fix warhammer 4000 dark tide is having backend and internal error disconnected from server which is happening for many of the users and how we can fix this app so let me directly get into the point without wasting any time first step is all about you have to restart the steam for restarting the steam you have to go over here at the top go for exit so once you're done with the exit the steam will automatically get closed and once you're done with the exit you're done with the exit just do a refresh do a restart on your bc then go back to the steam once again and launch it once launch the steam once again and once after that try to launch the game click on the play uh, play button and see whether you are able to fix the issue because this is just a basic step and if it's not working do not worry we have next one next one is all about you have to try running steam as an administrator for that just go over here in the search and you have to search for steam you have to search for steam like this now go for open file location and if you go that you'll be you'll be getting like this now what do you have to do just right click and go to properties sorry select show more options go to properties go for compatibility and as you can see run this program as an admin administrator is unchecked so you have to check this run this program as an administrator go for apply go for ok once it is done just wait for a uh, c and try to launch the game once again and most probably the issue will be completely fixed moving to the next one is all about you have to delete the save game files so this is quite important this has worked for many users but when you do this what happens is all your files get i mean you have to start the game from the scratch if you uh, your saved files right all those games will be completely gone so you have to start it from the scratch so that is one uh, side effect of this so but this this is going to work for many of the users so i am suggesting guys so first open your uh, my computer and go to local desk sorry documents now from here you have to search for dark tide so in some cases it will be here but most probably so you'll be able to see this you'll be able to see the particular icon over there but here i don't know why it's not there but in your case it has to be there so once you uh, downloaded the respective one you can you will be able to see the dark tide over here just delete it and keep in mind that when you're doing this you will be losing all the fo uh, all the uh, data so also let me check with the users so here uh, i have to go for uh i think i have to go for default app data uh, i have to go with local i think it's i have to go with the roaming so it's not there it's uh it's fine nothing uh you just have to go to the documents and you, most probably if you go to the documents you'll be able to see the folder here for the dark type just delete it and most probably after deleting this might be working out so but keep in mind that you will lose all the game files so this is quite important moving to the next step is all about you have to switch to google dns server so for that just go over here in the search search for control panel search for control panel open this now we just have to go for network network and sharing open this now from here as you can see it is connected to the wi-fi so i have to click on over here on wi-fi office now click on properties so in your case this will be either ethernet or something just click on the respective connected one then go for properties now from here you have to select internet protocol version 4 tcp iv4 just double click go for use the following ip address and here under the use the following ip address you just have to provide this not here sorry you can keep the same here you have to if it is you have to select this one so here use the following dns server so here here you have to give eight 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 and eight so here below you have to give eight eight four and four now click on validate setting up on exit this is you have to check this and go for okay and once you are done with this just close this and go back to the steam try to launch the work type and most probably this will be completely fixed Moving to the next one is all about you have to avoid using special character on your when you are giving the name. So we have to open the game. So when you are opening the game, this is very must, uh, very important that you should not when you are giving the name for the character, you should not be using any special character. As well as you should not be using any space. For example, if I am giving a name, 
so my uh, I'll give my uh, my name itself that is uh, Shan. So if I'm giving the name Shan, I have to type it S H A A A N. So I should not be using any special characters in this, as well as I should not be giving any space S H A space A A N. It should not be there. So that is happening an issue with many of the users. For uh, but some for some users, right? After trying this out, it worked for them. So that's what I'm saying when you're trying to play the game. You know, when you are uh, trying to play the game, uh, it has helped some of the users. And this particular, that is uh, selecting, that is uh, avoiding the spe uh, using special character and uh, don't completely depending on space, not giving space has worked for many users. So that's what I'm saying. This works for many. So that is a very important step and should not be neglecting that. So uh, that is one which you have to take care of it. And moving to the next one is all about you have to allow game exe to windows security that is quite important so what you have to do is you just have to go over here in the control now go over here on control panel you have to click on windows defender firewall now from here go for allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall now from here it is quite important that you should be knowing what you should be knowing uh, you should be knowing this one so i'll i'll cancel this so let me go to task manager okay so the game is running right now so i'll end the task okay so or else you know it, it is coming in between so from here this is how it looks like now you have to check whether it is added or not most probably dark tide even the last video when i'm showing you i added it so most probably this will be here but if you as you can see the dark tide is already added and you have to check both public and private so if it is not there you can add for that we are having an option allow another app just click on this and go browse so when you are browsing it is quite important there should be knowing where the game is installed so here in my case i have to open local disk c now go to program file 86 now navigate to steam most probably we all download game and save uh, the location we used to download it on c so just follow this instruction click on steam go for steam apps click on common now from here select warhammer go for binaries add this one go for open All right so here i got the error message because i have already added it that's why so just add this and now close this and go back to the game and try to launch it most probably that will be working good moving to the next one is all about what you have to do is you just have to verify integrity of game file for that just go over here in the game select it right click go to properties click on local files click on verify integrity of game file so this is going to take a little bit of time because this is a process where if any files are completely corrupted those kind of issues will be completely fixed so we have a lot of files right so if any files are corrupted and if any files are missed and all these kind of issues are fixed with this particular step and this fixes a lot of issue actually you should not be neglecting this particular step this is very important this can fix all these kind of issue so uh, you just have to wait until it reach 100 percentage and this is quite important moving to the next one in the meantime i'll show you the next step so moving to the next one is all about you have to do is you just have to make sure the date time and region of languages are correct for that just go over here in the search go to settings now from here select tap on or click on time and language now from here we have to set both so first go for time date and time so here set this automatically if it is turned on off you have to turn it on set the time zone automatically and set time zone automatically as well as set time automatically and as you can see there is an option called sync now just sync it and it is quite important as well so you have to sync it once you get the check mark it is good now go back and select the language and region now from here it is very important that it should be selecting english you can select it according to your la native language whatever you are preferable but here i have kept into english and also the country or region should be which is my country that is my i am from india so that's why i made this india so you have to make sure this is all correct then go back to the stream try to launch and most probably working out moving to the next one is all about you have to disable manual proxy for that we just have to go over here on the settings now from here we have to go for network and internet and over here if you select proxy it is there and as you can see the manual proxy under manual proxy use a proxy server is turn it off so you have to automatic proxy should be turn it off that is quite important so turn this off and go back to the game see whether you are able to fix and if it's not just move to the next one that is all about run network troubleshooter that is quite important just go over here in the search go to settings once again go for network and internet and from here 
you just have to go over here on advanced network settings now from here you just have to go for uh, more network adapt uh, adapt uh, adaption i think sorry it's not there so uh, we just have to for troubleshoot i think we just have to go over here now sorry click on troubleshoot what do you have to do is you just have to go to system click on troubleshoot now from here go for other troubleshoot and from here you have to scroll down and you will be able to find network adap adapter so go for run now they are detecting the problem so if any problems are there just fix it they will be fixing from their end so this is quite important and this is going to take a little bit of time so just wait it so if any by default any any issues are happening all these kind of issues will be fixed from their end so this is a very important step moving to the next one is all about you have to update your windows that is very important step for that you just go over here in the search go to settings now from here go to windows update now check for windows update if you are getting any update just update it and if it's updates are not there and after updating most probably the issue will be fixed because we have to be in the latest os to run these kind of games so if you are getting any update just update it and once after updating do a restart then go back to the stream and try to launch the game and if it's not working we will move to the next one that is all about we have to run the game uh, we have to do a perform a clean a network reset we have to do a perform network reset I mean so I'll show that so first thing you just have to go over here go to settings now from here go for network and internet and over here you have to click on uh, advanced network settings now from here just go for network reset and go for network reset but keep in mind when you're doing this you'll be losing the Wi-Fi connection and you should be knowing the password or else you'll be having the trouble so just go for uh, reset network reset now and uh, you should be knowing the password just just connect it back and most probably the issue will be completely fixed moving to the next one is we have to run few commands these commands on the cmd so i'll go over here i'll search for cmd so just click on run as an administrator so we found this now just copy each command which i'll be giving in the description so you don't have to worry paste it press enter go for next one that is ip config release just paste it sorry it's not copied so I have to copy, I have to paste it. I'll go for next one. There is IP config renew, copy. Uh, I'll paste it, press enter. Go for next one. That is net windsock reset. So I'll copy this, press enter. I'll go for next one. That is INT IP reset. I'll go for next one, press enter. There is uh, net I pv4 reset so i'll go for this one press enter now i'll go for next one so you can copy this one by one there is nothing to explain here so i'm not explaining anything just copy and paste it one by one you should not be copying all together just paste it one by one and press enter once it is done just close this do a restart go back to the scene and try to launch the game and that might be working up moving to the next one is all about we have to do is we just have to do few things that you have to try changing with your network for example here if we are connected to the wi-fi just eject it i mean uh, disconnect it and try back connecting to any other network if you are having any other wi-fi just try with that most probably that has to be worked and also make sure if the game is having any update just update it so most probably uh, i always used to say in every video that you have to make a few changes before that you just have to right click and go to properties click on update now as you can see i kept this always keep this game updated okay so there are three options always keep this game updated only update this game when i launch it high priority change this to always keep this game updated so even in the background the game get updated so you'll, uh, when you're trying to launch or else when you're trying to launch the game you'll be getting not play button but update button so you have to wait for it and also you have to update it every time but this will what happens this will be updating in the background so you don't have have an issue with that so let's move to it moving to the last and the least one is all about you have to run the game on dedicated graphics card go to the search search for graphics setting just like this so here i have already added i've already added the uh here i've already added the dark tide so what i'll do is i'll remove it and i'll show you once again so here i have already added other game so i'll click on browse okay and now i have to go to where the game is installed so i'll go to local disk c go to program file 86 scroll down and navigate to steam i'll keep keep scrolling to steam now click on steam apps now go to common now i'll select warhammer now i'll select binaries 
add this so once you add it you have to make a few changes that click on option and by default this will be Windows Windows decide just change this to high performance save this and now close this go back to the steam and most probably you will be able to f f uh, play the game so these are the basic steps which you have to try out when you are having an issue with dark tide and you're having the backend and internal error disconnected from server play uh, you can fix by these and i hope this video is helpful and if you find this video helpful don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notifications see you soon in the next video peace out bye bye peace out bye bye